Hey everyone, Oddball Comics here. So today we're going to talk about our favorite tree friend, Groot. So, let's get started. Groot first appeared in Tales to Astonish number 13 in November of 1960 as a villain, actually. And after this issue, we wouldn't see him in the comics for another 46 heckin' years until the event, Annihilation Conquest, helping out Star-Lord to help create the alpha version of the Guardians. When we first see Groot from here, he actually talks and we find out he's the prince of a planet called, well, Planet X. Super original. But when it came to about learning about Groot, there's not much of a personal story about him that really sticks out. I end up learning more about the biology of Groot that makes his species very interesting. Starting off, Groot's species is called Flora Colossus, or Colossi, for the plural version, and they were created by the gardener, an elder of the universe. And a good example of an elder is like the collector and the game master from which we've seen in the MCU. And like I said earlier, when we first meet Groot, he can talk normally and he's actually fairly educated, making him technically one of the smarter members of the Guardians. But as the species gets older, his organs and his larynx in specific would stiffen up, making the only words able to come out is, well, I am Groot. And to understand what it's trying to say, you're not paying attention to the words I am Groot, but with the after effects with the vibrations from his voice. And so as I would read more and more of his comics, I'd notice Groot dies a lot. Just like the movies, Groot can regenerate, but way faster than what we see in the movies. Watching him in the comics, it feels sometimes he's basically just cannon fodder in some fights. But he's also a huge help at the end of the day, not just in the fights, but just, well, emotionally. And looking back at everything I've read, I can honestly say Groot is the heart of that team. He never wavers when it comes to his friends and he's literally most of their support systems when times are hard and at the end of the day he's just an all-around good friend. Groot along with the Guardians have had a plethora of adventures but none of them seem to really have any personal storyline for Groot except a more recent one in the comics during the all-new all-different Guardian storyline and Infinity Countdown storyline that ran right next to each other where Groot was split up into splinters by the Gardener who was being manipulated by Loki where the Gardener would try to create an evil army of Groots he could control, but would be stopped by the Guardians and a little mini Groot. Groot would save the Gardener from Loki, and in return, the Gardener repaid Groot by using his abilities to restore Groot back to his previous size. And in addition, Groot can now speak in full sentences once again in the comics, and he refers to himself in the third person. Now, doing research for this video, I read a few of the Groot solo stories, including I Am Groot, Groot, and Rocket and Groot, along with every Guardians run ever while doing the same research for Rocket Raccoon. I can honestly say, if you're looking for something to read about him, uh, I would I would, I wouldn't would really recommend the solo series. I Am Groot was kind of good, but that's just for me personally. Other than that, I do really recommend the Guardians of the Galaxy series, and that's really where I'm at right now. So typically this is where I ask people to like and subscribe, but today I want to do something else. Uh, very recently there's been a death in the comic YouTuber community, uh, Comic Jabroni. He was an amazing guy with all this great fun energy and would bring live streams I'd go to to life. And I was lucky enough to talk to him a few times and he's going to be missed so much by so many people. If you're able to today, I'm going to put a link down below to his GoFundMe page for his family trying to do help out with his funeral arrangements. That would be awesome if you can help out. I'm not sure between us if any, anyone else watched Comic Jabroni, but if you could help him out at the end of the day, that'd be awesome. I'm personally going to do a small donation to help out. And I really don't know how to end the video from here. So this is when it's going to end it. So everyone have a great day. See ya.